okay, it's the next day. And uh, I found a really nice little place to have some breakfast, although my breakfast is going to be a curry, um, curry and rice. Um, I don't know what the plan is today, I've already overspent, so I can't afford to uh, go too crazy. And I think it's my last night in the hotel, so I need to start thinking about moving along. Um, I don't know where it will be, but when I know, you'll know. I'll see you when my breakfast gets in. So the food arrived and it's looking great. Time to tack it. Okay, so I finished up lunch, well breakfast, but it's lunch time. I finished it up, so all oh, know this is a dead end. So now I need to find my way to a BTS train station so I can go and uh, I need to get to ASOC. I'm meeting the guy I sat next to on the plane and he's gonna, we're going to go shoot a couple of rounds of pool. Um, should be good fun. Should be really good fun. I'll see you there. All right, so I jumped into a tuk-tuk and he's gonna take me to the uh, BTS train station. And then I'm gonna get the train to Asok. Should be a straight run. Uh, he's gonna do it for 80 baht. It's about a little more than two pound 50. used to the tuk-tuks. At first they were a little scary. Now I'm like, yeah, they're alright. They're comfortable. But all I have is that protecting me from falling out. Which is fine. I've been in other ones where there's nothing to hold on to. Okay, so I've just arrived at the Ratachadumi, or however you pronounce it train station, BTS, and I should, oh we might go explore that on the way back, but I should be able to get a direct train to Asa from here, and that's where I'm meeting Manfred from the play. I don't know if you'll want me to record him, or if you'll mind me having the camera on, um, but I'll explain to him what I'm doing and we'll see if he uh, we'll see if he doesn't mind are you are you in the queue so I did um, I'm trying to get to Asok 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 one person one person 33 baht 33 Thank you. Thank you. Kup kap. Okay. So, uh, I think it just acts like a oyster card. So, I need, I, I need to get to um, Asok. What? Which? Up this way. Thank you. My legs are still feeling like they're going to fall off from all the walking I did in Ayutthaya yesterday. I don't think I could do another sort of 20, 25 kilometers in a day. That's where we are, and that's where we're going. Okay. We have a plan. We have a plan. Okay, so I'm in As Asso, 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 and I've just left off Manfred. It was really nice, he didn't want to be filmed. But it's a lovely place. I'm sort of thinking maybe I should have uh, stayed somewhere local here. 
the problem that I've realised is that my hotel is nowhere near a train station. If you're coming to Bangkok, you want to get a hostel close to a BTS, because you can pretty much get anywhere on the SkyTrain. Yeah, I mean, it, 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 it's amazing here, but if you're coming, you want to be staying somewhere near a BTS line, I think. You can always get a meter taxi um, you know, into Khao San if you're interested in Khao San. I've been to Khao San Road twice now. I went last night after Ayutthaya just for about half an hour. It was all right. I think you need to be in a group of people to really enjoy it. There's also a big shopping centre here called Terminal 21. It looks like it's got pretty much everything you could ask for. So if you're local to Asso, then check out Terminal 21. You can get a lot of stuff. Okay, so I've been caught in the rain. Uh, when I got off the train, it was just teeming down. I actually hung around for a bit for it to subside, but I'm wearing my little poncho that I bought. I'm standing outside the train station, maybe a good 40 minutes, 40 minutes, 45 minutes, and I'm stopping taxis, and I'm asking them, what, you know, I'm saying to them, this is where I'm going, and they're saying, yeah, 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 yeah. And then the moment I say, well, put, uh, put the meter on, they're like, no, 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 no. I decided to uh, walk. Oh, and also the problem, my phone's run out of battery, my camera's dying, everything's dying. So, I'm gonna keep going until the, the, the battery in my phone dies, and then once I have no idea where I'm going, then I'll suck it up, get a taxi. But, it's really, really slippery. Look at this. And this. Just the grip underneath my shoes just disappears. And as I'm crossing the road, just boom, land on my elbow. Really hurts. Uh, it's a good thing I've got a tetanus jab. Because that's definitely got muck in it, for sure. Landed on my elbow, landed on my wrist. Wasn't fun. In fact, I think, I think I'm gonna double check the directions, make sure I'm going the right way. Sawadee, Lao Lang Road? La Lan Lan Wang Road. This. This one. It's called Kung Kap. Okay, so I think we're on the right road. She was like, yeah, you're on the right road. So hopefully, hopefully we're on the right road. There's a 7-Eleven there. I might stop off, get some plasters if I can. But there's usually pharmacies in places and they'll be a little cheaper, I think. We're sticking to it. Hopefully I'm not dying. All right, so I'm just sitting down. I've just been to the 7-Eleven. And I've got water to keep you going. And some plasters. Let's check my elbow. Oh, man. Whoa. That's why it hurts. Right. I'm all plastered up. Take this off. So are the. Alright, let's carry on. Uh, no protection from rain or extra protection from falling over again. Um, but I don't think I look as idiotic. 
I've still got some of the muck on me. Um, but I'll wash it off when I get back to the hostel. Hopefully I can find my way back. So I find myself on a really nice little road. I quite like it, uh, but nothing's open. And my camera is saying I have only eight minutes left. Now it's saying seven minutes. So I'm gonna turn it off and turn it back on when I'm a lot closer. Hopefully I'll start recognizing things but I haven't yet. It's still a long way to go. And very slippery. Now I know I haven't got much battery, but I think I need to show you all of this. Look at this. Beautiful, beautiful structures everywhere I look. Now I need to get on the other side of the road and look at him. I need to hang a left onto a road I can't pronounce, uh, Prajatanatai Road or something like that. Please don't run me over, please don't run me over. I'm confused. You know, some people might say, you get a thousand baht fine, fall over in the mud, and you scuff up your arm, your leg. And some people might say, you should give up while you're ahead. It's been like four days, and nothing's going right for you. I say to you, it's part of the adventure. Right, we've done this right. It should be just here. No dice. Hmm. I don't know. Oh my god, yeah, there it is. We made it back. We actually did it. Okay, all right then. So, I got to the hostel, I changed my plasters, I had a shower, cleaned my wounds, then I got a message from Craig saying, come have a beer. Show him just how much of a day I've had without him. Um, he's probably gonna say, you should give up, mate. <laughs> I ain't giving up. No giving up. Giving up is not on the cards. So, we know the way to Craig's hostel. But he's a he's at a different bar with his missus. Wagwan. So I've just left uh, Craig and Alitza off. Um, bless him. I didn't want to get the camera out because this was the last I was going to see them before they go uh, back to Phuket, and then spent a couple of days there then back home to Bulgaria so I didn't want to get the camera out uh, for while we were chilling and drinking and having a chat uh, and I've said goodbye to them I'm a little bit sad actually I love that boy so much he's a good man and you know he's one of my best mates I haven't told him that though but if he watches the video which I think he is if he uh, if he's a good enough friend <laughs> he said he'll be my one and only subscriber but now, I'm on my own, mate. I am on my own. That's today, mate. That's today. See you next one.